All right. Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Runquist, and I am here with the members of King, who's going to be playing here tonight, opening for Seether at Mill City Nights in Minneapolis, Minnesota. How's it going, guys? What's up, man? We're good. Hello. All right, I'd just like to introduce you guys from left to right. Tony, bass guitar, back vocals. Pepe, drums. And blues, vocals, guitar. Oh, it's great to see you guys again. Thanks. Uh, uh, like I was saying before, I saw, first saw you guys uh, opening for In Flames and Trivium, and I was blown away when I saw you guys. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really love the diversity of what you guys can do. I mean, going from the really heavy metal stuff to lighter to everything that you guys do. It's a really good combination. Thanks, Max. Uh, that said, how did you guys land the Seether tour? We don't know. <laughs> the story we got was that um, the drummer's brother was turned on to us by his wife. And then he showed the music to the drummer, John. And he showed it to Sean, and they liked the band, and that's why they brought us on tour. That's what's the version of word of mouth type of thing. Oh, <laughs> oh very cool. Someone told a friend. Who told a friend? The friend of a friend <laughs> told a friend. Yeah. They tell two friends. One, one, yeah, they told two friends. So. Right. So. Small. so. <laughs> Little. Yellow. Different. Different. Better. Better. <laughs> Uh, so, how has the crowd reaction been so far? Since I, I know, see, there's a bit more of a mainstream uh, so tour for you guys. We, on this tour specifically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been okay. It's, uh, I mean, it hasn't been overwhelming, but it's been, you know, consistent with hatred. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, we get to play our songs to a whole different crowd, and, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like starting all over again. Yeah. <laughs> to a new crowd. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was a, uh, I was actually a uh, searcher on YouTube, and I didn't know there was a radio edit for uh, falling down, and oh, it, there is. They, they took oh. out all the blast beats and everything. I was I really disappointed by that. Yeah. As were we, my friend. As were we. <laughs> we, ate, we ate that version. Yeah, yeah radio. Whoever made that version is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've uh, everywhere we've been to, like they don't play that radio edit. So it was kind of like one of those, like, get your foot in the door, and then when people heard the song, it seems like they liked the original version better, so. Yeah, I don't think I've even heard the, the, the radio version anywhere. No. Yeah. And we've heard the song on the radio, and it's yeah. the full mm -hmm. version, so. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, when I play you guys, I absolutely make sure to play the real version of it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what are your future plans after this tour? Uh, we're going to take uh, two weeks off before we start the next tour with uh, Megadeth. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do, do you know if that's coming here? <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Could we? We shall oh. make a check. <laughs> yeah, I'd love I, to see I, that. I think it does. I, we'll let you know. I think okay. it does. Yeah. But. Oh, sweet. <laughs> if it comes around, we'll let you know when we're happy. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, we'll we like them happily. Yeah. Uh, so, so is that the main support slot that you guys have? Yeah, it's <laughs> probably just us and them. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very cool. Yes. Yeah, uh, so, has there been any new riffs thrown around for the next album? There's, been, there's a lot of songs that are ready to go actually for the next album. Uh, two of the songs uh, we play live, not particularly on this day, but we, we play like, a couple new songs live. Oh, very cool. Which I guess feel for what might be cool. So far, it's been you know. Good uh, reaction yeah. to those songs. Used as a fool and uh, burn the serum, which are definitely going to be on that, on that second album. And we'll probably have about like ten songs ready to go, and we're going to go home and crank out a few more ideas and try to accumulate about six or seven more songs and start making out what we feel is the best. And, yeah, I want to head into the studio and destroy it. Uh, Oh, very cool. Uh, so have you guys uh, decided like on a direction that you guys are going for, or just whatever feels good for the next album? Straight. 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 <laughs> Straight. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> the vibe the same, you know, just basically whatever we feel is, is, is right for us at the time. I don't know, whatever we're vibing with. 
I mean, you know, we never, we never really, we don't write on a like an idea of, hey, you know, let's write like this, or let's do something like this. It's, it's we're gonna write a song, and whatever it feels like is what's gonna, what it's gonna be, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes with the first album. That's why all those songs in that first album, if you're familiar with it, all the songs have their own identity. You know, there's, you know, there's rock songs. Thrashy metal songs, and just heavy, sludgy kind of stoner rock songs, you know. But you know, they're just songs to us, you know. And they have their own, like, our little babies. And they all have individual personalities. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the way it should be too. I mean, you should never be forced to write a certain kind of song. You'd have it should be natural in what you guys want to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it comes out that way too. Yeah. It comes out so. forced, and yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. People, yeah. they know it or not, that we can see if you're right. Oh, very much so. I definitely can. What <laughs> people? People. <laughs> uh, so, what are some uh, future bands that you'd like to tour with that you have e yet to tour with? Uh, long list. Uh, we Queens of Stone Age is the one that I would like to tour with. Queens of Stone Age, Foo Fighters, Foo Fighters, Foo Fighters, Foo Fighters Down. 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 <laughs> Oh, that'd be a great tour. Our brothers in Monstro. Yeah. Oh, another great band. Black tea, please. Yeah. You will you will be hearing Red Fang. Red Fang. Yeah, yeah. We but we did Red Fang. Yeah. We need to do a whole tour too. That'd be great. Oh, cool. And Metallica. Oh, and Metallica, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, those would all be great combinations. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to do that. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's cool that, that we could say that, you know, you could say that's all a great combination. Mm -hmm. We can name pretty much any band. Yeah, we're like, yeah, we could fit. We could fit the bill, you know? Yeah, and that's what I love about you guys. I mean, you guys are so diverse and there's I a mean, lot of variety there. Yeah, think about this. I mean, you're at a Seether show. Mm -hmm. And we're opening for Seether. Next month, you're probably going to be at a Megadeth show, and we're going to be opening up for Megadeth. So, yeah. You know, think about that. That's a really good sign. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, what do you uh, think of the current lineup right now with uh, touring with Seether and I Empire downstairs? It's awesome, man. We're, all the bands are way cool. All the bands are good at what they do. We're having a great time. Um, the crew is awesome. Like, we're getting spoiled. Totally. You know, like, Everybody's just so, so, so nice. So it's been amazing. It's been a great tour for us. Yeah, we've toured with I Empire before, so we're, we already have friends. Yeah, good yeah, yeah, comrade and a brother. Oh, very cool. Dudes. And then, uh, you know, the whole Seated thing, I mean, they just been, they you know, we came in and they just opened their arms and were like, hey, you guys are cool and we like you. And that's that. We're just like, yeah, we really like you too. <laughs> so, they really give us the shirts off their backs. So, well, I'm very glad to hear that too. I mean, uh, such a big band like Seether helping you guys out like that. They've helped us out immensely. Yeah. And it's well deserved too, honestly. Yeah. Uh, so, just to wrap things up, is there anything else that you'd like to mention that I haven't brought up yet? I need a warm up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we might be doing some vinyl for the first album. That would be kind of cool. Oh, sweet. That might come out soon. Uh, Whatever album, whatever songs you didn't get on the iTunes, well, you can get it on iTunes, but if you don't have a physical copy, because there's just like 12 songs on a physical copy, and there's extra yep. tunes on iTunes, mm -hmm. extra songs on iTunes. So we're probably just kind of consolidate everything and make vinyl and CD. It'll be a limited edition or something. Get your hands on one. Oh, I definitely will. I'd love to pick that up. Thanks, man. Oh, no problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so once again, this has been King. This is that drummer guy, Josh Runquist, behind the camera. Thank you. <laughs>